If your SOLIDWORKS sometimes runs slow, maybe because you have a low-end laptop or PC, you might want to keep watching because the tips I'm sharing in this video are for you. Welcome, I'm Aryan. If you're new here, I help creative minds and engineers to convert their ideas into real-life solutions through learning SOLIDWORKS with a new and very easy approach. So subscribe if this might be something for you. These five pro tips that I'll share in this video not only increase your productivity in SOLIDWORKS, but they actually are the results of years of practice and they increase your SOLIDWORKS speed if you have a low-end laptop. So they are very valuable. Let's begin. The first tip I want to share with you is called performance evaluation. I'm looking at an assembly that I have downloaded from GrabCat. This is not my component. And this is a very good example to use when I'm talking about this feature. This is an assembly with a lot of components. When I go to the evaluate tab, there is a feature called performance evaluation. Let's open it. The interface of this feature is going to be different in the assembly mode and in the part mode. In the assembly mode, which where I am right now, it will show you the heaviest components to calculate for SOLIDWORKS used in this assembly. So TJ part two body is having like the longest open time and probably the rebuild time. Let's find that out and open that component. First of all, what I just did is found out which component is the most complicated component for SOLIDWORKS to calculate because the point of this video is to find out uh, what is running your computer slow or what is making your computer run slow on SOLIDWORKS, find that out and try to fix it. So this is the first step. You go to the evaluate tab, you work with performance evaluation, you find that component or all the components if you wish, and then you open that TJ part two in the part mode. So I'll just open it. This is that component. I'm already working with a very heavy computer, but it's still slow sometimes. Wow. Okay, this time I go to the evaluate tab again, again go to performance evaluation and as you see, the interface is much simpler. Over here, I see the exact design tree that I see on the feature manager on the left. Whenever you create a component in SOLIDWORKS, the sketches and features you use get listed on the feature manager in the design tree. Each of these features carry a function and occupy some space in your RAM, some more and some less. So you also build these features on top of one another. Hence, some of them are related to each other. And the ones that are on the lower layer are called the mother feature. And the ones that are on the upper level, they called the child feature. Usually the mother features are located early on on top of the tree and the child features on the lower end of the tree. It's not a law, but it's the norm. Now, every time you rebuild your model, that is this one here, or control B, control Q on your keyboard, like this, control Q or control B, SOLIDWORKS runs a quick process from top to bottom of the list uh, of your design tree, and making sure all features are updated. Now, here's when the issue becomes more polarized. If you place some features unnecessarily too early on in your design tree and that feature is taking a lot of your RAM space, SOLIDWORKS gets stuck on that feature and it takes a long time until it uh, renders that and moves on to the next. So what do we do here? What you do instead is to wait with those features and you use them almost at the end of your component if they are not mandatory. So as an example, fillets are a perfect example here. They usually have a longer rebuilding time and most of the time you could wait with the edges and round them up later on when you're about to finish your model. So you don't use all the fillets that you want and then continue with modeling and your SOLIDWORKS stuck at those fillets early on in your design tree and the whole thing starts to run slow. Okay, for example, I opened another component to quickly show you what I was talking about. If I go to performance evaluation, you see, despite the basic flex, which is a very, very heavy feature to calculate for SOLIDWORKS and LOFT, which is logical, we have a circular pattern. And next on that line is fillet, which seems to be a very innocent, simple feature, but no, it takes a lot of RAM. And I'm happy to see that this guy who has made this model on GrabCat has done it right because I see uh, fillet number three is the last feature he has used. So this tip number one in a nutshell is that use the features like fillets that take a lot of RAM space at the end of your design. You don't want to use them too early on on your design tree on the top. Wait 
hold on to that unnecessary fillets wait until you're done with everything else then do that okay the next tip is for the assembly mode and how to increase your speed notice i'm working with a very powerful pc and i'm working with a 3d connection space mouse do you see the lag that i see sometimes in rotating it it's laggy it's not smooth and it's for one simple reason look at all these temporary auto generated axes that solidworks has calculated for me there are a lot of curved surfaces on this model and every curved surface creates one so every time i rotate this solidworks has to recalculate so many axes and if i want to make it go smoother all i have to do is to turn that off look now there is no lagging anymore if your computer is running slow make sure to turn as many as these extra unnecessary axes off or you could just click on this eye uh, to turn the whole thing off as the result and this will go as smooth as it can go so this is a very quick simple but very effective tip if your computer cannot handle heavy stuff next on the line i have the assembly it's a little bit more technical uh, we go to the settings and we go to performance where where is performance over here we have some settings here that we can play with for example if your computer cannot handle it you can check automatically load components lightweight and then it will increase your computer or solid speed a little bit when you're going to mate two components together let me um, make an example i don't know if i have some some stuff here so let's duplicate a component here like this one and let's make this and this concentric so when i click on concentric pay attention to the movement that this component does until it reaches the right position so this and this they're gonna go concentric did you see that small movement that's the animation so you could go to the settings go to performance and change the speed of animation or if you want you can turn it off you don't need to see any animation so this time if I'm going to break this mate that I just created so I can move it again. This time I'm going to repeat the whole thing. This one and this one. Click concentric and boom. These two are concentric. If your SOLIDWORKS doesn't have to calculate this animated move, it makes its job a little bit easier so it runs a little bit faster. Uh, there is another thing you can change and that is under assemblies over here use lightweight mode and large assembly settings when the number of components exceeds 500 for example when your assembly is too big and it's ha it has more than 500 components including your fasteners bolts and nuts and everything because sometimes you have a lot of them you could define some automated moves for solidworks for example do not rebuild when switching to assembly window or uh, hide all the planes axes sketches curves annotations etc when i reach i don't know 40 components if your solidworks or if your computer cannot handle 500 so you can play with this number two the next point that i'm going to share with you is both for assembly and the part mode we go to settings again we go to document properties and we go to image quality here you define how well your solidworks should show your the geometries to you for example this is a circle if i make the quality better it looks more like a circle smoother edges and it makes your computer to run slower and if i lower this it looks more hexagonal but your solidworks runs much faster so you have to find the sweet spot for your computer and as well as this one tip number five simplifying your components okay what does that mean it applies to the assembly mode first of all and a lot of times your components have a lot of features that take a lot of ram usage and a lot of rebuilding time for your solidworks it means every time you move your component and you rebuild your component solidworks has to go through all those complicated calculations and if you don't have a strong gpu or cpu it takes a long time so you what you want to do is to remove or temporarily suppress all those features that are not in any source of relation with any mates they don't have any function they are just there you could suppress them while you're working on other stuff and unsuppress them at the end so while you're working on it everything runs smooth what do i mean by that 
first we go to tools then we go to um, find modify and we go to simplify so this is a tool that allows you to first of all select what you would like to suppress i'm gonna set it to default which is all all fillets chamfers holes and extrudes that's fine simplification factor which is a number varies between 0.1 and 1. 0.1 being the lowest one being the highest simplification factor and i'm gonna check ignore features affecting assembly mates you do want to do that because if you don't check this box it will also suppress those features that are used in some of the mates and therefore it results in breaking your assembly so you want to check this box and click on find now depending on your assembly it might take a few seconds until it finds it okay so these five features are the results that we have three fillets that could be suppressed uh one extrude boss and one extrude cut we want to check them all if i click suppress it works fine that's no problem but in case you want you can create a configuration that is it keeps the unsuppressed original component as it is under a different configuration and it creates the simplified version under a second configuration so you could switch back and forth between the simplified version and the original version and if you don't know what configurations are i don't know if i have another video on that on my youtube channel i do have it on my website but i will talk about it in another video i'm gonna click suppress yes Okay, just give it a few seconds until all these five features are suppressed. They are suppressed now. As you can see, this bolt that used to be here is now gone. Some of the fillets are gone. And without them, your computer could run a little bit faster. So this is how you simplify a component. Okay, so this is the most simplified version with a simplification factor of one. And we could leave it at that. We could unsuppress it anytime we want. All right, guys, before I finish, I told you five tips. This is the last one. A bonus number six. If you don't want to look at a component or if you're not working with it, you could just quickly hide it. Anytime you hide a component, it makes your computer run faster. How did I hide something? By moving my mouse cursor on that and pressing tab. So if I want to unhide it, I just hold shift and press tab. It will bring it back. We could bring everything back like this with this shortcut or hide it with tab. Let me know in the comment section if any of these tips were useful for you. Important announcement for serious learners. Some of you might be in different stages of learning SOLIDWORKS and ready to do the work and learn it all the way through. You're ready to learn it like a professional, whether certified or without any certification. So you don't have to come back to YouTube and ask for help. If this describes you, then go to the top right corner of the screen right now, click on that info card, or you could go to the description section below this video, click on the link, go on my website where I have a one hour webinar and I cover 10 of the bad habits you have built or you will build from day one in SOLIDWORKS, which results in wasting a lot of unnecessary time. And I will cover that and give you the solutions to that. So go watch that. And at the end, there is a mini course waiting for you. Both of them free of charge, by the way. I'll see you on my webinar, hopefully, if you're serious about learning SOLIDWORKS. And if you're new, hit the subscribe button now, hit, hit the subscribe button now, and I'll see you very soon.